Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new here, hello, hi, I am Candice. And this is a place where I like to take you guys on my art adventures when I'm not working full time in the animation industry. And today, da 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 da, I wanted to talk to you guys about my friggin' awesome Dymo thermal label printer because I've had this thing for years and I think it's about time we talk about this. So this is my label printer back way back on Etsy when they made it so that you could print from home shipping labels and send out things that way I decided very early on that I wanted to invest in a label printer because it was just so not economical to be printing off a label from my printer and then you need tape and it just it was extra work that if I could take it away that I knew that I was going to be a lot more efficient as well as you're just saving money on ink and stuff like that because this guy is thermal so I never have to replace the ink because there isn't any ink it's all heat at the time there wasn't that many label printers on the market so I wanted to make sure to get one that was large and in charge because I wanted a nice large sticker to be placed on my orders so that they were easy to read and legible and all that kind of stuff, not just a return address or anything like that. So there are different sizes you can get that do different functionalities, but I definitely wanted to invest in this bad boy. The cool thing about this is there is information down below here that tells you about how to feed in your printer. Uh, whenever I have issues, all I do is hold this little tab here and I can pull out the paper really easily. As you can see, there is instructions on the bottom on how to feed in the paper as well as how to put it on the spool. What's really neat is on the side here, it tells you that you have to feed it under, which is like this underneath, and also that the little tabs, so this little tab here is what tells the Dymo printer where the, pr the label starts and ends on the information of this printer. I have never had that many issues with needing to take off the front of this, which you can do, um, but I have never actually needed to do that. And whenever I do have an issue with this, what I would suggest is unplug it. It takes a couple seconds for the little light on the front here to turn off then re-plug it in and I find there is usually no problems once you do that. The other really neat thing about this specific printer is the fact that it comes with its own software. So now that I sell stickers, the great thing about this is because I usually send stamps, uh, send it by stamp mail, what is really cool is I can use their software to add in my return address as well as where I'm mailing it to. And now, depending on the season, I like to add a little image of my artwork on the shipping label just to add a little layer of cuteness to it. The other real cool thing about the Dymo, whereas other printers, other thermal printers aren't as good, it is 300 dpi, meaning that my imagery on here will actually hold up and it doesn't become, you know, pixelated when you print, which is a really neat feature. That also being said, I have never had a problem using this with my Chrome, because uh, that is the browser I use on Etsy, and uh, printing right from what if I am to buy a shipping label from them, I've never had a problem uh, selecting my Dymo printer and then printing it out on my Dymo. Again, if there are issues, I usually just unplug it, plug it back in, and everything is fine. Because it is not wireless, there isn't any of that problems that sometimes I may have with my printer or my Cricut machine because of there being some internet lagginess which is awesome. And without further ado, I wanted to show you guys what it's like to actually use the 
printing software that it comes with as well as if I was to print this off using Etsy and what the labels look like in that format. All right, everyone. So this is the Dymo website. This is where you're going to want to come when you first get your Dymo label printer and you're going to want to go to support. Uh, then at the very bottom, you can type in which label printer you have. Um, we're trying to get the software. We're looking, you can type in anything that you're looking for here, which software exactly you're looking for. So you wanna type in label writer, and then you wanna go to whichever one you have. We've got the 4XL and find downloads. And here is where you would get all of the information you need, like the support, and you would just download what you need here. That being said, I've only had one instance where my label printer would not print from its uh, software, and that was specifically because of a Windows update, and they took about a week to get everything sorted out, and then I could use the software again. Okay, so um, this is the software. I have said which kind of label that it is. It is a 4x6, and here you would type in your return address. And then you can just grab it and move it where you want. You can also shrink this down so that you can move it, which is super fantastic. Once you have added in your return address, you need to hit add. We're going to add another text and we're going to make this um, buyer. Buyer address and we'll just move it here and you can change the sizes. Obviously, I would probably want this one to be bigger and this one to be much smaller. So we could just highlight this and make it, make it, you know, much smaller. The other really cool thing is, this is where I was talking about, I like to browse and add in a image, which is super fantastic. And the thing is, you don't need to rasterize the image at all. You just need to go in and find the image you want. And it will go black and white to begin with. And again, all you need to do is just select the sides and shrink it down so that you can bring it closer to the edge. So this is generally what my return address and address to the buyer would look like so that it is nice and easy. And um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like being printed out as well as uh, trying to print this off of Etsy. So like I had said before, I like to add in my own little image here. And as you can see, this is what my printed label looks like and I absolutely love it because um, I just think it looks a lot cuter having your own little image added to it. When it comes to printing any shipping labels or even I like to use my Dymo printer for shipping out um, little slips that show all of the items that are in um, that the buyer has ordered you just have to change the destination and i'm just doing this from my chrome you just have to change the destination of where it's going so instead of my canon i would select my dymo printer and this will get set up automatically when you download the software for it and then from here you just need to make sure that you print the proper type of uh, label it has so this is where seeing this you you would realize this doesn't look right and you would look for your paper size specifically uh, the paper that i use is a four by six thermal heat printer sticker label and mine is always at the bottom so depending on the size you just have to search for the proper size here you just look for it and there is the one that i'm using 
and then you just have to hit print and it will print out the information you're looking for. It is literally that easy. I know a lot of people that also use the label printer to be able to do things like add in a do not bend sticker instead of having a stamp or a sticker you just do it with your thermal printer and you save a lot on ink that way um, or they use it for a um, you know use recycled materials in the shipping of this item and stuff like that so there is a lot of functionality to it you just have to do a little bit of brainstorming some research and have a little bit of fun with your printer I hope you guys found that super helpful. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or um, help with the label printer, please let me know because I've had it for so many years. I literally don't even know how many years I've had it. I want to say maybe five to six years, but honestly, these things last forever and there shouldn't be any reason why they wouldn't last forever. I also just love the sleek easy compactness of it and it just sits on my shelf and everything comes out there again if you guys have any questions or concerns let me know down below and if you got this far in the video put a little paper emoji in the comment section below and let me know what kind of video guys you would like me to do in the future all right i will see you guys in the next video goodbye